Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn and I am back for another haul video. Now listen, I have backup hauls. So like this video is probably actually recorded after or I, all these other hauls that are coming, but because this palette just released and I just got it yesterday, um, I wanted to go ahead and do this haul. So listen, I don't want y'all to think like your girl is a shopaholic. Like literally, I told you I've been on this curate your beauty um, journey. And let me know if you want me to uh, do a video about it. But um, I picked up a couple of things. A couple of things were like maintenance things. I, there's a few um, beauty things. And here's the thing, my hauls aren't huge because like I said, these are hauls over time, but like I did wait until these two orders came in to do this particular haul. And y'all, let me tell you, I have one of them on my eyes today. Can you, can you, do you, do you see this? Do you, do you, do you see this? Do you see the color shift? Oh, uh -huh. Anyway, um, let's get into the haul. So first things first, I I've picked up a couple of um, just like maintenance items, if you will. So I, I am a bit of a skincare fanatic, if you didn't know that. Um, and I think I've told you the story before about how my mom, when I was growing up, like she, she always believed in multiple streams of income, hence is why I'm probably an entrepreneur to this day. But, um, my mom is also an engineer by degree. Uh, and so she was working in engineering, but she also was doing like, you remember like home shows, like, you know, like direct sales companies or whatever. And so she was, she used to do these home shows with this company called Alouette, which I actually think is still in business, which is amazing but it was like a skincare and cosmetics company so it wasn't Avon and it wasn't um Mary Kay but it was called Aloe but they were really really big on like aloe vera like I remember us always having an aloe vera leaf like this huge aloe vera leaf in the fridge all the time so if you got cut or burned or whatever it was like going there and cut off a piece of that <laughs> that aloe vera but anyway so that but she used to take me to the shows with her as a little girl and I think that's why I'm, I'm into skincare and I'm into makeup so I picked up a watermelon uh, glow from glow recipe pink ju juice moisturizer I picked up the mini one and a lot of times you'll see me pick up minis of things because right now I currently have four open moisturizers but I have one face I only wash my face twice a day, right? So like, but I do have like moisturizers for the daytime and then I do have moisturizers at night and then I have all these deluxe samples and we're gonna talk about that. But also like, I feel like, you know, if my skin is looking a little drier one day or if I feel like my skin is looking extra oily one day, then I'll kind of switch it up. So I do like getting minis. It's not necessarily the best value for your money, but it took me a while to use this one up. Um, but this is what it looks like. Super cute little glass bottle, but this works for me. Now, I made a mistake in a previous haul, which depending on when I put this haul up, you've either, either seen that haul or you've not seen that haul. But I also picked up um, the Watermelon Glow uh, from Glow Recipe. PHA and BHA pore tight toner okay now when I showed you this before I bought the mini size right but I use this almost like a serum so I, I use a completely different moisture I mean a completely different toner which is like my standard toner but I find that because of the texture of this I use it more like a serum so after I um, cleanse then I tone then I will put some of this in my hand and then rub it and pat it into my skin because it's a little bit thicker and I find that using this on a cotton pad, I don't like it on a cotton pad, but when I use it like an essence or a serum on my skin, I really do like this. And I use, I use this daily. So I was like, Evelyn, just go ahead. Like, I think I went through two or three minis and I was just like, okay, so clearly you're using this both morning and evening um like some of the things that i only use like you know morning or evening like not both then i'll buy the minis but like i was like you're really going through this so go ahead and get a full size of that so i picked that up um from sephora both of those things from sephora then i also picked up um 
I think I was telling you guys, telling you in another haul that I picked up the, I think it's Lositon is how you pronounce the brand. Let me tell you, this is how samples work because probably two or three years ago, I had gotten a sample moisturizer from them and I never forgot the brand. I was like, ooh, let me keep them in mind, right? So I had picked up a mini of their almond shower oil and I was like, ooh, my skin loves this. I love the, the way it felt. I loved the smell or what have you. And so I picked up the, um, this is the Delightful Body Balm. Let me tell y'all something. This little bitty container was $39. And I read the reviews that said it was small, but like it's small. I haven't tried it yet because I have some things already open. It's small. Um, even if I love it, it's $40 for this, maybe 20 something, which would have still been premium, but I, I, I got to see. I Listen, it smells great though. It's very subtle. Oh, it's, it, it's, it smells fantastic. It smells just as good as the oil. So maybe that'd be like my once a week thing. Okay. So I also picked up two eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> like I need any more eyeshadow. Uh, I picked the two eyeshadow palettes from Sephora as well. And they're both from Viseart. So I picked up the Viseart. This is the Spritz Edit. And I picked up the Petite Pro 2. So I have the um, the Minxette palette, which I probably didn't need. The Spritz palette, okay, because this is a little bit lighter than that. Um, but I felt like it was more coral. And if you can tell by today's face, I love a good coral. So here is the palette. I've already used it. Um, I really, really like the shades in here, but it's mostly for me, it's mostly transition shades, right? And then lid shades, which that, you know, that bothers some people. It doesn't really bother me. We're going to focus. There we go. I'm like, are you going to focus on me? It doesn't really bother me because I, I, I'm not a person that's like, oh, I have to get my entire eye look out of, you know, one palette. Some people are, and I think that's totally fine. And I think that's a totally fair, like, you know, request. I, I like to mix around. So um, let me show you Petite Pro 2. I told y'all, this is like, I'm recently falling in love with Viseart. This, this is, this is gorgeous. So a little bit deeper here. Let me see. There we go. Um, but I like, look at that coral shade, like in the crease. Girl. So I recently been falling in love with Viseart shadows. And I will tell you, I think I have found my three, like, eyeshadow brands that, you know, I'm always going to be looking at when they release something. I'm always going to be probably buy it if they release it. I'm probably going to be curious because I find that even though I have other eyeshadow palettes, I find that these are the ones that I reach for the most often. One being Viseart, another being Natasha Denona, and the third. Oh, wait, let me not, let me not get into that one. Um, so I got some deluxe samples with that order um, because your girl had points, okay? So I picked up this little duo. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt, uh, Melt Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, and I also got the um, Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer with moringa and papaya. So I've already tried um, the the makeup ba uh, ba cleansing balm. I actually really, really like it. My only concern, and this didn't happen, but my only concern is that it's very, very oily. And I have oily skin. And a lot of times when I've tried to use oily things on my skin, even if I know I'm going to be coming behind it and washing it and making sure that there's no residue left, right? Because this just melts the makeup away. You still have to wash your face. Sometimes I find that my skin doesn't love that. Um, so I've only used this twice but I really, really like it. And then the um, Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. I'm really getting into gel moisturizers, particularly uh, here in Texas because our summers last through the holidays. Uh, <laughs> oh, can I get it open? It's like really sealed in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know if you can get a feel for that, what that looks like, but there it is. 
Okay, so um, I have not used it yet, but deluxe samples. And then I also got, um, for deluxe sample, I got this Tom Ford Sole Blanc, um, which I, I kind of enjoy. I don't love it. But I enjoy it. Like, I, I don't think I would buy a whole bottle of this, but this is nice. Like, I could throw this in my bag. And then also, I, I got a deluxe sample of the Replica Beach Walk. And I love this sample. Uh, like, I like the bottle. Like, that's super cute, right? Like, if you don't give me a sample, like, like let's, this is cute. Um, again, these two are very similar. I, I enjoy the scent. Again, don't know if I would buy a full bottle of this, okay? But this is, you know, I by the time you see this video, the video of me searching for my signature scent, will I have released it by then? I don't know, y'all. I've got, I've got like eight videos in the queue. Okay, so, <laughs> so that was all from Sephora. Um, and then, what's on my eyes? Oh my gosh. Okay, so Mother Pat, Dame Pat McGrath, um, has released a new mothership. Oh, I, wait, 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 I forgot. I also got a, a eyeshadow brush from Sephora. Okay, nothing exciting there. Let's get to this. I didn't already tell you. So Mother Dame Pat has released another mothership um, eyeshadow palette, or actually this is a considered a artistry pressed pigment palette because there are some shadows here that aren't approved for eyeshadow use and it is Utopian dreams like it matches my flowers back there can you see and so um okay I was one of those people that got carried away with the inspiration photos you know I just saw and it's funny because even in the inspiration photos like that's not the kind of eyeshadow that I wear but I just saw this holographic um teal purple with a little bit of sea foam green um iridescent uh just extravaganza if you will of colors yes was there pink yes was there purple yes so I still love this palette um, it's just not what I was expecting but I actually think that this will probably be one of my favorite Pat palettes because I feel it's the most everyday friendly for Pat McGrath if Pat McGrath is everyday everyday friendly but here is the beautiful carton if you if you have motherships, then you know I I actually keep her cartons. I don't keep my palettes in them, but I have a little um, place where I keep them. But I do keep all my motherships together. And here is the mothership in the actual packaging. I do not take the plastic off. I'm that person. I do not take the plastic off. I want it to just remain in pristine condition. You know what I'm saying? This plastic being on here is not hurting anybody. I, I, I keep it on here, right? So typical gold on the back. You also have, um, you know, your shadow names on the card. Now, let me say this, okay? I want to say this before I get into the actual um, colors in here, but it is what I have on my eyes, is that because I understand branding, I, Pat is making a lot of um, cuts in her brand that I can tell are cost savings, which is fine. It's just that they're noticeable, right? So like the card that used to be all the way black and this used to be in gold is now black and white. And not that that makes a huge difference, right? But like, you know, if I'm going to pay $125 for a palette, I want the whole experience, right? You know, even the way the palette um, came packaged, I, I, I don't mind it, but you, you don't spoiled me on previous packaging experience. And now this is different, right? And so, you know, like, yes, this has the gold on the back, but like some of her recent quads haven't where previous ones did, right? So like I'm noticing little things and even in some of her other products that the packaging is not at the same level. And so just as someone who, you know, who studies brand, it's like I peep what's going on, but don't lose the brand experience in your cost savings. Okay, so let's get into this palette. So uh, I, I did take some B-roll before I, I got into it because this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. But look look at this 
it is gorgeous okay so um it i do have pat mcgrath's divine rose two I don't have Divine Rose 1 because it just is a little too cool tone, too pale for my skin tone. From what I'm understanding, people are saying that this is giving them a mix of Divine Rose 1 and Divine Rose 2. And I will say, while it's not the same, it's definitely similar in feel. It's just that I feel like I will wear this more often. Now, another thing to note here is that on this side, look like, can you see the flips? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is normally where she has her four special shades, or at least these baked shades, right? This time, she yes, she gave us another trio chrome, but it's not a baked shade. And it's kind of like, again, are are we are we skimping on 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 cost? Like it's that's what I have on the lid. So this 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 color is called <laughs> Blitz. Sex stream, right? Like th that's this color right here. You can tell that I've already dug into it. So let me walk you through what I have on the eyes. So I have, oop, there we go. I have this color right here, which is Secret Eden. Very at the very like, it was the first color I put down to blend out the crease, and then I came behind that with Shock Wave, which is like much more coral once you put it on the eye. Okay. Then I came in with Extreme Plum Noir, 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 you know, listen, I've been in Texas so long, I almost have an accent um, all over the lid, right? I did end up coming out of the palette just to put in something a little bit deeper, just because I like a little bit more contrast. And then I have um, Blitz Sex Stream on the lid. I have not gotten into, like, you can, you, you can see the, sh like... Do you see where it, the Blitz Extreme is looking green in the palette? Like, it goes from, like, pink to gold to green. Oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. I also have a little bit of this color on the cheeks, but then I also came back and put on Pat's Paradise Venus. I also have on Pat's Concealer. I didn't have, I didn't wear her foundation today. And then I also have on uh, Pat's Lip Divino in Electric Lotus today. So lots of Pat McGrath coming on. But this, this is my fifth mothership. I will say if you've got Divine Rose 1 or Divine Rose 2 and you're not like give me pinks every day or you're not like I just want to play in makeup, um, I don't know if I would, you know, get this one. At least not right now. You know, her motherships are not limited edition. They are permanent. Um, so, but listen, I just, I have not swatched some of these. I just got, this purple shade is called Astral Amethyst Moon. You got to give it to patent her names. Like, it looks lavender, but then it goes pink, and then I got to swatch it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Can, can y'all, I don't even know if you can see that. It is gorgeous. Um, there, ooh, the one above it is called Astral Venusian Orchid. It's like, y'all, I don't know how to explain this. It's like green, pink, and lavender. Oh, these are like topper shades. Like you can just tap them on top. Um, let me swatch Blitz Sex Stream for you, which is what I have on the eye. So it looks. Oh, can you see that? It looks burgundy, but then it's like gold and pink and fuchsia and green. Oh my gosh. Y'all, so if you have not tried a Pat McGrath palette and you are a makeup lover, I would. I would say this. If you're not a makeup lover um, and you're just kind of like a makeup like as a utility person, like I just need a little something to throw on for work or if I'm going to be on a Zoom call or something like that, Pat may not be the... <laughs> The, the brand for you because these 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 sweeties are 125 a pop for me this is playtime this is hobby time right um and i'm sharing these with the video but, but can, can you just can we just like oh i wish it would focus so um i'm thinking about doing a pat mcgrath like swatch fest because i have i have five motherships and I have two quads and, you know, 
it would be great to have like a reference video for people who are of deeper skin tones like I am. But these right here. Anyway, y'all, okay, this haul has gone on long enough. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know, um, have you tried any of these products that I have mentioned in the video? What have you been shopping for lately? And I will see you in my next video. Peace.